Thank you for joining us on the What's Trending. I am Moses Omorgana. On What's Trending today, we kick off with a tragedy that happened years back that has come back to find its sadness into our hearts. On the 5th of October 2012, four male students of the University of Port Harcourt, Uniport in River State were barbarically lynched, brutally beaten and eventually burned alive by a jungle justice mob. They were commonly known as the Alu Four. Now, allow me to introduce the four of them to you. Tekina El Kana, aged 21, a diploma student in technical studies. And um, Ugona Obuzo, 18, a geology student. Chiajika Biringa, there he is, aged 20, of theater arts department. And Mike Toku Lloyd, there he is, aged 20, who wanted to be a civil engineer. We sadly remember them today, but the main question we would like to ask is, where is justice for the Alu Four? Exactly. Why has this heinous act of injustice been swept under the carpet? Why haven't we heard a verdict on those responsible for taking away the lives of these four and for taking laws into their hands? I do wish I have answers to these questions, but it seems like those who are meant to answer these questions are no longer there. Nigerians definitely have been expressing their concerns on this via social media. A tweet, for example, from Phoebe Malumi says, I just can't get over it. May their souls continue to rest in peace. Hashtag Alufo. Monali says, um, between jungle justice and murder, Nigeria is fast becoming. Hashtag Alufo, hashtag humane, hashtag jungle justice. Oshun Defender says, um, Alufo killing, is justice dead in Nigeria? Group laments delay in trial of suspects. So, in our next episode, these questions and concerns will be discussed and we do hope to find answers based, of course, on your trending thoughts. Even as we seek for justice, may their souls continue to rest in perfect peace. Okay, now moving on to the main discourse of today. You recall my talk on Nanja syndrome, and by Nanja syndrome, I mean the Pidgin English and the Yoruba dialect, gaining serious grounds, imitation, and even global appreciation. My guest today is a Greek German producer, and uh, aha, that's the Oyibo Nigeria. He's a Greek German producer and DJ who has an uncanny passion for Nigerian songs, especially the ones being composed in Pidgin English and Yoruba. Shocking, in it? Now, you must have seen him sing and perhaps watched Orisha Femi's Double Wahala or a dramatic remix of Kiss Daniel's Woju and, of course, many more. They call him Ninja Oyibo Boy, but the world knows him as Nikki Tall. He's right here with me in the studio to help us understand his voracious love for Pidgin English and Yoruba, and of course, Nigerian songs by extension. As a matter of fact, Nikki Tall is our trending persona for the day. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So, as I promised, I have um, the Oyibo Nigeria, or, or yeah, Oyibo Nigeria boy, as he calls himself, aka Nikki Tall. He's right here with me to help us understand his um, his what I would call a mistress uh, love for Nigerian music and Yoruba dialect. Thank you so much, Nikki, for joining us. Thanks for having me. What's here. up? 
I'm very fine. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good handshake for that. Now um, we've seen a lot of Nigerians, you know, perform um, Nigerian songs. A lot of foreigners actually yeah. do Nigerian songs, Yoruba dialects, and all that. But why do you think the world or Nigerians, home and abroad, are paying so much attention on you? What is it about you, really? Um, I think it's the package. Hmm. You know, because, um, you know, I was a musician before and I'm a DJ in Germany as well. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm a musician. Hmm. It's not like Nigerian music made me become a musician. I was it before. So it's just like I, let me say, switched the talent to Africa and Nigeria. And that's, that's you, how we are rolling right now. You don't think it's just because you're white? Or well, are there other huge factors that we're not looking at? Of, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> let me say the skin definitely is an advantage to get in. But okay. at the end of the day, I think it takes more to mm. be a musician in Africa apart from being white. Why Nigerian songs though? I mean, why not Togolese? Why not South African songs? Why not Kenyan songs? Well, why Nigerian Yoruba songs really? Well, it was like, let me say, Nigerian music searched for me. It was not, not like that I searched for Nigerian Ooh, music. Tell because me about um, that. <laughs> at the time when I start to join this nightlife, going to discotheques, going to club, mm. um, I met some DJs and there were Nigerian guys playing okay. in a club that could take close to my home place. Okay. And they introduced this Congwaso song to me in 2008. Yeah, that was your debut, and huh? Yeah, this, okay. this, was, this, this was the beginning of everything, you know? <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, this is right now seven years back. And um, um, this was the start of my, and how I got introduced and influenced from the Nigerian side. Okay. Now, you know, I've seen a, you know, a couple of your skits, your production. Mm -hmm. You are an amazing DJ. You, you, you play the drums. Yes. Very well. Mm -hmm. You have pretty good vocals. I mean, better than mine. So <laughs> now the question is, when you have all that, yeah. why are you not um, you know, writing your own songs and even coming up with your own album and being your own star, as opposed to being you know, a cover for other people's work? Why are you not thinking in that direction? OK, let me say something to this okay. one. You know, I'm a half Greek, half German who's based in Germany, born and raised in Germany. Mm. And um, this kind of covers and singing Nigerian songs, remixing them, mm. it was just, let me say, the first step to gain a fan base, gain popularity and gain that attention, you know? Mm -hmm. Because um, right now it's my first time that I come to Nigeria and it's like, okay, I have not been here, but my name already has been here before. So the next step, at the beginning I, sing Niger I sang Nigerian songs one-on-one, -on -one, copy them on the original beats. The second step was, to recreate the instrumentals by playing them by myself, you know, with playing the guitar, playing the drums, mm. piano and all that. And the last step, what I did in my last videos, like Kiss Daniels, Woju, or um, the collabo by Don Jazzy and P-Square. And the Ojo I, like <laughs> yeah, I, I add my own lyrics to that one, just to give a direction to my fan base. Okay, this guy has own inspiration, you know, he's, he's working on own things. Mm. So Record label owners are listening. <laughs> uh. So uh, the... <laughs> On the long run, and the dream and the main goal behind all that is to become an uh, individual artist with his own songs into the Nigerian music market. Okay. So, so this is really a strategy, huh? That's, that's kind of the, let me say it's a strategy. It's yeah. working that's though, plan, it's yeah. working. All right, now help us understand this. How is it that a Greek German white guy mm -hmm. who has no relationship or origin whatsoever with Nigeria, you know, suddenly has this as Elia said, voracious love for Nigerian songs, for Pidgin English. Mm -hmm. Where did that all come from? Where did, how did that start? Um, I was interested in African things from the, from the, I think from the beginning of, that I can tell you. you know, my idol, for example, is Muhammad Ali, which is an African at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was always, let me say, addicted to anything what comes out of Africa. And um, it's the whole thing that I'm doing, it's based on love and interest. That's a simple answer. So what are we looking at here? Are you, are we, are you planning to relocate, to elope from your, from your home? Well, if God has that plan for me <laughs> to make me become a musician here in Africa and Nigeria, <laughs> then I have to go for it. I like that. He's religious, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, before you go, mm -hmm. you know, your, your, uh, what I would call your fans on social media would mm -hmm. definitely like to see something spontaneous okay. from you. Okay. And of course, we can't just let you go off without you doing something. You okay. have to do something. Okay. So what would you like to do, really? Well, um, since uh, I'm here on TV right now, okay. and we're talking from the whole story from the beginning to the end, I would start and dedicate this one to Nice himself. You know, I met him yesterday. A okay. really big dream of my own came true to meet him in person. And I want to dedicate that one to him. All right. Says, so Let's I can sing you. the congrats. Just to you, like that? Yeah. Just a yeah. freestyle. So sure. it's like. Congrats, so good to go. Anywhere I did now. 
Kongwa so kutukwa un, eni shogo now. Adi shevi ya yalari, oyo a shevi ba beni konko. Ya bidobu na un, a yalari onko. Nikki, talk to so. Nice one, man. Nice one. Chop nice one. All right. Um, the producers in my head screaming that we don't have much time. Okay. But uh, what, what exactly are you taking home from this visit? And we understand it's your first time in yeah. Nigeria. What exactly would you be taking home? Well, it was a lovely experience. Okay. And uh, Nigeria already made me feel it's like my second home. Oh. You know, so... I will be back very soon, I think, so I hope so. Double knuckles for that. Yes, boss. Well done, bro. All right, uh, yeah, that, that has been um, Nikki Toll. His real name actually is Nicholas. Nicholas, yeah. Yeah, Nicholas what? Sorry. Nicholas Georgakis. Okay, I'm That's sure. That's a great name. I'm afraid I can't yes. pronounce that, but yeah, his real name is, Nico, uh, is Nicholas, and uh, who goes by the stage name Nikki Toll. And you've heard him, I've had, you know, he's been big on social media doing Nigerian Yoruba um, um, songs and um, skits like that. So he's, um, he's been on the show, and of course, we've come to the end of the What's Trending. Don't forget to let us know what you're talking about using the hashtag TVC Nigeria. And of course, Twitter handle to always follow is at TVC Nigeria. I'm Moses Morgana, and I definitely will be seeing you next time. Bye for now.